<clears throat> what's up YouTube brother Tim here um, making this video uh, special shout out to Kristen 9844 uh, this is really a video concerning what she commented on asking my opinion about Christian rap or Christian rock music uh, I appreciate that question now this is just my opinion this is nothing no doctrine here. I'm not telling you how to do anything. Oh, by the way, what you're seeing is a flower I've been working on with my color pencils over there. That's a, that's what it's based off of. But um, basically, what how I feel about it is, I actually have National Baptist hymnal. I, I'm not a singer, but I do love reading through this and looking at the lyrics to the songs and everything. You know, my take is Christian rap or Christian rock music. Now, I'm not the one to save whoever's making the music or they praising God or not. That's not my call. But personally, me, I have a problem with music that sounds too worldly. If that makes sense, you know, they got the, you know, the Christian rap. I I play around with it and call it uh, gangster gospel or whatever. But um, I mean they're praising the guy. I mean they calling out Jesus name and everything like that and but to me I guess if I have to think too hard and, and remind myself that I'm listening to a uh, Christian rap and not regular rap and you know you hear the beat and the beat sounds so much something that you'll hear in the club it kind of messes up my worship it kind of messes me up because I'm thinking about you know a music video or something you'll see on TV women dancing people in the club having a good time but then you know you hear Jesus name and it, it throws me off. I mean, it really does. And you know, for some people who like it, okay, that's that's fine. You know, go ahead. But to me, I like the I like the old hymnals. I like the the old time music where the music back in the hymnals was like almost strictly out of the Bible. I mean, it's like you took a verse and you just put music behind it. I mean, it's like the rawest form of gospel music. I mean, you have songs that pretty much tell you the entire gospel of Jesus Christ in one song and you know and more of the contemporary music they, they kind of got away from it a little bit and they don't talk about some of the subject or the key subjects that you'll hear about um there's a song that starts off saying that there's a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners who plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains and you know, there's there's so much gospel in that. It's like you, know, you haven't even heard the whole song yet, and that's the kind of music that I like. You know, the kind of really is, you know, it's just straight from the word. And I'm saying the newer music is not straight from the word, but it does sound a little bit more worldly than I like. So I, I tend not to mess around with it too much. I'm, I'm not here to tell anybody what they can and cannot listen to. I'm just saying I have a problem with music that sounds too much like the club, and and I'm more thinking about women dancing than I am but praising the Lord and you know I don't need that in my head you know I wasn't a huge fan of you know Kurt Franklin when you know he came out with the whole revolutionary music and you know I, I just couldn't get into it it just sounded too much like a party and it doesn't sound much like worship to me you know that's my take on it I'm pretty sure I probably will lose a subscriber or two for saying that but that's just how I feel about it so Kristen 9844 I hope this helped Thank you for the question. Uh, thank you for your support. God bless you.